Hello and welcome to Microfocus Universe. This is a dedicated roadmap update for our Cobol IT customers. My name is Scott Nielsen. I'm a Director of Product Management here at Microfocus. This is our foremost customer event where we bring together news from right across the Microfocus software universe, including roadmap sessions, customer stories, and product demos. You'll find content from cybersecurity through to IT operations, and of course, application modernization. Cobol IT sits within the Cobol portfolio that is part of the application modernization and connectivity product group, or AMC for short. In a single word, modernization is what brings all of these portfolios together, from COBOL to mainframe to CORBA. But what does modernization mean? Our lens on modernization puts these three areas in the spotlight, which we've identified as crucial needs to maintain and innovate legacy systems. Infrastructure modernization which is about modernizing where you deploy your applications by giving you choice and flexibility on platform without finding yourself locked into any one hardware or OS vendor. Process modernization, which is about modernizing how you go about building software, providing you access to modern development tools and practices so you can deliver results more quickly. And finally, application modernization, which is about using your existing application to deliver more functionality to your business as part of your digital transformation. We find this a useful way to describe the modernization solutions we offer and to guide our customers on our product strategy and roadmap, which will align to these three areas, including Cobol IT. Now, if you'd like to hear more about how our approach to modernization is being used by the likes of AWS and Allianz, be sure to tune in to the AMC track keynote at this year's universe. Okay, so what can you expect to hear about in this session today? Well, first of all, we'll have an update on COBOL itself. What are your peers planning to do with their legacy systems? And what does the future hold for this legendary language? We'll tell you about updates to our investment in COBOL IT engineering and customer support, as well as details of a new system for technical support and software entitlements. And finally, a product roadmap update covering recent releases and what's coming next, including news about new tools for relational database access. But first of all, let's begin by reviewing the results of a survey of companies around the world that rely on COBOL applications. We put together a short video to share the results with you. We have heard a lot about the COBOL programming language over the past year or two, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the U.S., news agencies widely reported that numerous benefit system failures forced local governments to scramble quickly locate seasoned programmers with COBOL knowledge and expertise. We later learned that COBOL was not the core issue, but the public narrative surrounding this legendary language has not changed. Considered by some to be old, outdated, and going away, many IT leaders have looked to newer technologies as the answer to both future IT and skills planning. But is that the right move? Is COBOL still relevant and ready for the age of digital business? And just how much is COBOL still supporting today's mission-critical applications? These are the key questions that demand answers and drive new COBOL research in a project commissioned by MicroFocus with the oversight of world-renowned experts Vance and Warren. What did we learn? The results may surprise you. Number one, global COBOL code volume has hit new highs. There are more than 800 billion lines of code running on production systems and in daily use. That's more than the stars in our galaxy, and it far exceeds any previous estimates. Number two, the COBOL code base continues to grow. Nearly 50% of respondents expect the volume of COBOL in use at their organization to increase in the next 12 months. 
52% expect their COBOL applications to remain for at least the next decade, if not longer, and more than 4 out of 5 expecting that COBOL will still be in use when they ultimately retire. Number 3. COBOL is strategic. 92% of respondents stated that their organization's COBOL applications are strategic. Future IT strategy and application portfolio alignment with new technology was also listed as the key drivers for COBOL modernization. Number four, modernization of COBOL applications is the preferred path forward, with rip and replacement strategies considered too risky and costly to the business. It's not surprising that 64% plan to modernize their COBOL applications, and 72% see modernization as an overall better business strategy. Number five, cloud is driving application modernization. When asked about their company's plans for COBOL and the cloud in 2021, 43% stated that their COBOL applications do and will support cloud by the end of the year. 41% stated that new business projects would require integration with existing COBOL systems. Netting it all out. With over 800 billion lines of code supporting today's mission-critical applications, moving away from COBOL isn't as easy as it might seem. This size and scale of the global COBOL codebase also demonstrates the continued value that this business-first language delivers for IT organizations every day. The new outlook. There is massive opportunity for modernization without abandoning your existing investment. Whether your organization's plan to start a digital transformation project, move workload to the cloud, or accelerate application delivery using DevOps and agile practices, COBOL is ready. Ready to enable the next generation of application, development, deployment, and modernization from mainframe to mobile, containers to cloud and beyond. With 800 billion lines of code still in use, COBOL continues to power the world's economy. It's quite clear to see that it will be with us for a bit longer. Some might even argue that COBOL is here to stay. For those with COBOL applications, the larger question remains, what will you do next? Learn how to leverage your true competitive advantage and drive innovation at scale. Now is the time. Start your modernization journey. Well, the survey and research revealed some stratospheric numbers. And the simple truth is, COBOL isn't going away any time soon. Now, a much more meaningful question to ask is, how will organizations adapt their COBOL applications to meet the demands of digital transformation? And a great example of an organization that is doing just that is Allianz. So be sure to check out their story in the keynote. Let's get back to the topic of COBOL IT. COBOL IT is an open source based modernization tool set predominantly targeting Intel platforms. It offers modern development within the Eclipse IDE. In 2017, Microfocus acquired COBOL IT and has been integrating this as a standard product line within the COBOL portfolio, where it sits alongside other leading COBOL toolsets, such as Visual COBOL and AccuCOBOL. More recently, Microfocus has integrated product engineering and customer support, as well as software delivery, wholly within Microfocus. This significantly extends our product investment in support of the COBOL IT community. As part of our integration of COBOL IT into Microfocus business systems, we can now offer a consistent experience for COBOL IT users when accessing software entitlements or using technical support. It is in fact the same experience now provided across all Microfocus products. The Software Licensing and Downloads Portal, or SLD for short, is where you can access license keys and download your software entitlements. You will find all Microfocus entitlements in the same place. It is also where you can administer access to other members of your organization. If you need to contact technical support, you can do that here and where you can also check on the progress of any incidents. If you haven't done so already, please register yourself and your company in order to access these services. 
Let's now turn our attention to COBOL IT Roadmap. As part of the process for integrating COBOL IT into our own engineering teams, Microfocus delivered two new releases of COBOL IT in December 2021, version 3.11 and 4.2. These releases have been built wholly within Microfocus using our release engineering processes. Our procedures also now include ISO 27001 status, which the AMC product group has recently achieved. This is the international standard for managing information security and which we can now extend to cover COBOL IT. As part of these releases, it includes updates to the supported platforms and tested C compilers. Amongst the newly tested platforms are AIX 7.1 and 7.2, Solaris 11 and HPUX 11.31. There will be two further updates released later this year to support newly released platforms, including AIX 7.3, Windows 11 and Windows Server 2022, and Red Hat 7.9 on IBM Z systems. In addition, our engineering teams are also working toward a new SQL component that will be included in the standard COBOL IT distribution. This new SQL component will be made available this year and will provide coverage for the latest platforms and databases and has several improvements over the current implementation, including promising performance gains we've observed in many of our benchmarks. Please note that support for the existing SQL functionality called CIT SQL will end no later than November 2023 and will be replaced by this new version moving forward. We will be in touch with users to help them plan their move to this new release. Should you need any further information, your key COBOL IT contacts are as follows. Estefania Martinez for sales, Dominique Sacre for product management, and here is also a reminder on technical support contact information. Thank you for attending this COBOL IT Roadmap Update.